A carnival canceled after multiple fights and then gunfire. What we're learning about the shots fired incident that landed four people in police custody. And waking up with sunshine once again on this Sunday. Temperatures cool to start. We've got 40s on the map and I'll show you when we're expecting a warm up. And new details in a deadly cross country police chase. What we've learned about the man who led investigators from Texas all the way to St. Louis. Today in St. Louis Weekend Edition starts right now. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. All right, good morning, St. Louis. Your time right now is 6.01 on the dot, and we're taking a live look over the Gateway Arch. Beautiful sunrise this morning, and y'all are going to love these temperatures. It feels incredible mm. when you walk outside. <laughs> good morning. It is Sunday, September 8th. I'm Mercedes McKay. Travis has the weekend off. He's just casually getting married. Oh, You're just casual. Congratulations. <laughs> Anthony Slaughter is in for Tracy this morning. And Anthony, yesterday Tracy and I were talking about how excited we were for this weather. Yeah. But then I saw 90s later in the week. Oh, it's like, coming back. Yeah. Uh, Summer's not done. But I tell you what, you step out the door this morning and I'm like, whoa, you might need a jacket, maybe a sweatshirt, a heavy coat because yeah. numbers have fallen into the 40s this morning. Last time we've been in the 40s. April. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I so did put on the heater this morning in my car. I had That's my when you know. seats on as well. Yeah. So just be ready for that if you are headed out the door right now. You could probably give the AC a break at least for the first part of the day. We are expecting a very pleasant day. Yesterday we got to 75 degrees and we'll be in that same ballpark today. Numbers will be in the 40s and 50s this morning, 67 by lunchtime, and we're expecting a high of 76. There's not a lot happening on the weather maps. High pressure smack dab in the middle of the country. Then you've got showers across Florida and the Carolinas, even Georgia this morning. So we'll have another sunny day just like we had yesterday. But here are those numbers again. Last time we had 40s back in April. In fact, April 25th was the last time we had temperatures this chilly. And I mean, look at everywhere. Warrington, you're at 41. Chesterfield, 42. Even Alton, Litchfield at 40. I mean, my goodness, things have certainly changed, haven't they? Well, we'll go into the afternoon with temperatures in the 70s, mid 70s for some low 70s north and east temperatures. Again, will be warming up though as we head towards the end of the week. We are going back into the 90s by Wednesday, Thursday, and there is a chance of some rain. Yeah, we'll show you when we'll see rain. That's coming up in that full forecast. Mercedes, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Anthony. New this morning, four people are in custody after a disruption at a church carnival ended in gunfire. Around 9 o'clock last night, several fights prompted police to shut down the Holy Spirit Carnival in Maryland Heights. Officers say as they cleared the crowd, gunshots rang out right across the street. And here's a look at that scene along Parkwood Lane from just a few hours ago. Police say no one was injured in the incident. Right now, we're working to learn more about the suspects and any potential charges. New info this morning about a police pursuit that began in Texas and ended with two people dead in South St. Louis County. Missouri Highway Patrol identified them as Delisha Evans and Ryan Phillips. Our Amy Crawl sat down with a friend of Evans. This morning, she gives us an exclusive look at the former couple's complicated relationship. Police cars everywhere at this Afton intersection around 540 Friday night, an SUV rollover crash on South Rock Hill Road near Party Road, captured in real time through the bushes of Kyle Motors' home. We saw cops with shields coming out. We knew the situation was, was pretty pretty dire. Troopers began a pursuit eastbound on Interstate 44 after the driver refused to pull over. The SUV exited onto South Elm Avenue and continued to South Rock Hill Road, where neighbors said they saw a gun lying on the ground next to the car after the suspect fired at police. Motor heard 10 to 15 shots and saw a car flipped over. I heard the gunshots and then we got down and and knew that it was not a usual scene for this area. It's a story that starts all the way back in November of last year near Dallas, Texas. Delisha Evans, known as Dee Dee, started dating Ryan Phillips, both from St. Louis. Friend Salome Momo said she'd had issues with him in the past. On multiple occasions, he told her that he would kill her. The couple fought often, Momo said, and broke up in August. Evans was a loving mother to her 13 and 4-year-old daughters. According to Momo, Evans was last seen Wednesday night. Her teenager asked where her mom was. Phillips, who was still around, said Evans was asleep upstairs. The next two days, he drove the 13-year-old to school in a rental car. 
Then on Friday, Evans' house scorched, Momo saying arson was involved. Police in Princeton, Texas activated a critical missing person alert Friday morning, saying Phillips was the primary suspect in Evans' disappearance. License plate readers helped locate Phillips' SUV in St. Louis County, which initiated the pursuit. The understanding of is that she was already uh, not alive when she was in the car. If she could say anything to Phillips. He took someone's daughter, someone's friend, someone's mother. Selfishly, we'll never get a why. We'll never get to a place of understanding. Annie Crawl, five on your side. If you or someone you know are experiencing a domestic violence situation, Momo asks that you speak up and reach out for help before it comes to this worst case scenario. New this morning, one person is critically injured after an overnight crash in North St. Louis City. It happened around 1.20 this morning near Hall Street and Cary Avenue. Police say only one vehicle was involved and we're working to learn more from investigators. This morning, a petition that would restore abortion rights in Missouri may no longer appear on the November ballot. A Missouri judge ruled the language in a proposed measure does not meet legal requirements to be on the ballot. However, it's not gone just yet. The judge says he'll wait until Tuesday when ballots are printed, giving abortion rights groups enough time for a last minute appeal. One group, Missourians for Constitutional Freedom, is already working to appeal that decision. They told Five on Your Side, quote, the court's decision to block Amendment 3 from appearing on the ballot is a profound injustice to the initiative petition process and undermines the rights of the 380,000 Missourians who signed our petition. Now, the Thomas More Society is the Catholic public interest group which filed the lawsuit challenging this measure. They described the court's decision as, quote, favorable and believe the question will not appear on the ballot. They also say, quote, Thomas More Society's mission is to defend life, family, and freedom wherever they are threatened. Missouri's Amendment 3 threatens all three. This week, East St. Louis Metrolink passengers will see a few changes when it comes to security. Starting tomorrow, riders at Emerson Park will now have to show a security officer their valid pass or transit ticket before heading to the platform. Metrolink has plans to have more manned security gates in the coming weeks in St. Clair County. This is all part of its secure platform plan to increase safety along the rail.